this is the tutorial of bouncing wall in Calipig. Mainly I am using uh, my iPad here. I have installed the Calipig software in my iPad. So uh, let's check it out. So first of all I have taken the circle and I have pasted it here and basically I am selecting the circle and copying it and slide by, by side actually so first of all what I am doing here is I am taking a circle and then I am copying it and I am going to another slide and then pasting it and I am just making the changes of the position of the ball here the circle is supposed ball there so to do that you have to copy first so to copy in Calipig first of all uh, just touch on the screen with two fingers then you will get the option of copy suppose you are saying uh, suppose you were seeing that the black color circle is showing up once I am pressing on the screen so there the options are cut paste and copy all those options are there and the color so by that you can use it it's very easy tool for the animation and 2d animation you can do a very you know it's a very easy way to do to make animations in uh, 2d but uh, for character animation i will say that adobe animate will be the best choice for the character animation because here you have to cut and paste in every uh, slides uh, so uh, so it will be a little hectic once you will draw each slides uh, individually so see for the animation there will be a thousands of slides thousands of pages so it's not possible that um, you will suppose you are making a short animation and and you will create uh, you will draw every slide like thousand slides so yeah it's possible if you have time but um, if you are a youtuber or you are making short term stories in short in a short time then it is really a problem for us so uh, their adobe animate is a best choice so first of all it's for beginner so i uh, i was a beginner obviously i am a beginner also uh, but you know as a beginner i would say that calipic is the best software you can use it is a little hard there are more animation uh, softwares i can say those are backlip and polydoscope or i can remember other softwares but you know uh, i prefer calipic more than other softwares also you can uh, you know make animation in procreate so see uh, procreate in procreate you will not be able to use more layers uh, there is a problem there is no more options so calipe is the best choice so here see uh, what I am doing I am just copying and pasting his slides I'm just doing the dropping section now it's like 20 slides I have already copied and pasted so 
just copying and pasting now i am doing the squash thing so here i am just uh, you know i uh, see when a ball is dropping then if you do if you if you do not uh, you know if you just if you just uh, keep the ball size as uh, round only then it is okay but in the animation it will not look much good so that's why i am resizing the circle i'm resizing the ball it's little you know it will show as a that i am squashing the ball while it is dropping so it is dropping down so it become taller and then when it is touching the ground it become flatter I am just resizing this. now it's just dropping in the ground but it's not bouncing so i am decreasing the frame rate here to see once the the ball is dropping and squashing so now i will do the bounce back thing so the same uh, steps i will do here but in a reverse order so the first step would be the squash part of the ball then the taller then normal size and it will go up see Oh, so to copy each slide in uh, Gallipack, you just double click on a slide and then you will get the option. See here, just I am copying and pasting the old steps and just going up see
so the copy paste has been done so now I am checking see the ball is dropping and bouncing back up it's very <coughs> slow right I mean slow frame rate so so that it uh, I can show you the how it uh, works properly so I am increasing the frame rate now suppose it is a 15 frame rate so see it's very easy anyone can do it animation is uh, is a little hard but if you start then it will be much easier later it's all about practice now i am exporting the into imp4 video actually so if ps uh, frame rate will be 24 for me and i am exporting and saving in my uh, gallery and i am not i'm now going to the gallery let's open the gallery first So I have opened the gallery here. Now see, I have played a, the video. See, it's a great thing, right? Please watch and if you like, then please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel for more videos I will upload. So thank you for watching.